Welcome to another video tutorial. In this video, I will tell you how we can improve our scientific writing skills. So in this video, I will show you five different ways which can be helpful for improving your scientific writing skills. So uh, as we know, scientific writing skill is actually an art. So whenever we talk about any art, so it means the more you will practice, the more you will be perfect. So actually, uh, because as we know, scientific writing is an art, so you have to try multiple times to learn this art. So I know whenever uh, just students sit and start to writing might be even when I was student. So I was uh, started to thinking that maybe scientific writing is very difficult and I cannot be a good writer. But uh, uh, you know, it is a matter of time. So as you will more practice, so you will learn how to write. So uh, no problem. Uh, whenever you think that you have nothing to write, you can just start to write even the single word, even the title. So I know there are uh, some problems which we will met with the time, but no problem. Whatever you want to write, whatever you are focusing, just start writing. Might be it needs improvement but it must should be begin. So uh, if you want to write uh, a specific topic, like if you want to write about your dissertation topic, so might be you can try to write a review of literature related to that. So uh, let's now uh, move to uh, uh, there are uh, th that five ways which we can uh, apply our in daily life to improve our scientific writing skills. So among them, the first is the reading research articles or the reviews. So in this, uh, we can uh, see that good writing needs good reading first. So if you want to write good research article or good reviews, first you, you have to read uh, good articles. So because uh, good writing comes up with the good reading first. So uh, uh, it is also important whenever you read any article, you should uh, try to read an article in depth. In depth meaning so, th so that you can fully understand your article, I mean what the authors want to say. So uh, like uh, in this example, you can see uh, any author has clearly mentioned and it, it has indicated the different parts. So let's suppose uh, in this line, you, you don't know the any words. So you can just uh, underline and uh, try to uh, write its meaning if you don't know. Sometime I know uh, there are some students whose English uh, is not perfect maybe uh, so they can write the meaning no problem. Initially even when I was student I was facing the same problems. So there is no need to establish the records like I have uh, read almost an article and still I don't know what to write. So I think so according to me uh, reading one article in depth is better than reading 10 articles uh, roughly. So uh, here is another idea that don't ignore the difficult words like whenever you are reading and you just came across the word like the dilemma. You know this word is actually a complex word. You can just go into Google and search its meaning. So we know that dilemma is a like is a great part of discussion which comes never to an end. So, so these words are like might be there are other words which you often come across which you don't know. So there is no need to hesitate. You can just go into Google and search like what is the meaning of dilemma. So it will give you a good view and uh, later on so that you can remember whenever you will come across this word again, you can know what its meaning. So uh, one in-depth reading article is better than reading 10 roughly readings. So uh, another point, YouTube is a good teacher. You know, these days uh, there are many good YouTubers which are working for scientific writing skills and academic writing skill. So I recommend you to you can find some good channels and uh, you can just subscribe them so that you can know. So watch the videos in series rather than the ra random. Why it is important like in this example, let's uh, I talk about my own uh, channel. So you uh, let's open this YouTube and uh, open my channel. Like this is my channel. 
so uh yeah you can go here and uh, you can go to playlist and uh, here you can see uh, there are the scientific writing skills so uh, when you will uh, come here you can see uh, here is a list of all the uh, all the necessary videos which are required for the scientific writing skills so you can watch them in a series so that you can know what are the different parts of article and how we can write them and there are different videos like how we can write review papers so in this way you can get an idea okay what are the important parts of paper so uh, i what i want to say that you can watch them in a series so that you can know uh, the sequential process of uh, scientific writing so it is not important not only to subscribe my channel if you like to subscribe you can but there are also some other channel which you can subscribe so going back to uh, uh, our previous uh, yeah you can watch the videos in series rather than the random so uh, you can also uh, like there are some websites you can also try that uh, and uh, they also uh, have different e-learning courses for scientific writing codes so you can also attend the live webinars workshops and training programs related to the scientific writing so uh, uh, like here are some uh, webinars you can just search in google there would be many come across so you can also get certificates if uh, you will fully attend uh, these webinars like if anybody uh, will watch these all videos uh, I have also given certificates of, uh, from on the behalf of my channel uh, for the scientific writing skills. So if you also want, so you can complete this uh, these list and uh, uh, while if you have finished, you can email to me. I will send you these uh, e-learning certificates in your uh, email. So. Uh, so uh, you can also these get certificates and there though these certificates will be helpful even later on if you are applying for any scholarship abroad so uh, in this way uh, it will not only be helpful to you increase this skill but it will also be helpful for applying uh, different scholarships and your professional life so uh, the third important tip is read notes and lectures so uh, first it is important what should uh, from where we can get these notes and lectures so there are the different uh, free online manuals you can just try on the google but uh, there like there are some different handbooks might be there are some paid but uh, if you want to uh, practice so you can uh, start it to practice and find the mistakes in your sentences so if you don't have these uh, if you are unable to find these notes and lecture you can simply just drop an email in this comment of this video so i will send you a good collection of the notes like here i can show you uh, here i have the different notes related to scientific writing so actually these notes help me to increase my scientific writing skills so you can also increase like here is the academic writing course it will uh, help us to know uh, that what are the different shortcomings and what are the common mistakes and how we can improve them and uh, here are also some PPTs which can also be beneficial in learning so uh, in this way you can try to read notes and lectures and try to get some free online manuals so the fourth important uh, tip is the use of academic writing tools so uh, although uh, while writing you can try some tools like the Grammarly so uh, we know that this Grammarly tool is actually helpful uh, and is the best writing assistant I mean it can help you to identify the punctuation mistakes spelling mistakes and even if you are uh, uh, using the paid version it can also give you several suggestions for although I don't recommend uh, uh, to use it uh, I, although I don't recommend to use its uh, I mean the paid version because then you will be used to uh, used to uh, this and with without this maybe you will be unable to write so you can just simply uh, get unpaid version so it will help you to find common mistakes like spelling and punctuation mistakes so a similar tool like uh, Grammarly is Quillbot 
you can also uh, get and it's adds its application in the MS Word. You can also uh, sign up for the research gate because it is a platform where there are many researchers you can follow uh, some of your related researchers and you can know what they are publishing and what they are finding. So it will help you to just uh, uh, you know, be in connection with good researcher so that you can know what are the what are the frontiers uh, in your uh, subjects. You can also try to learn uh, how to use uh, Google Scholar. We know that this is a platform where we can uh, search the different articles. So you should also know. You can also uh, also watch uh, different videos on the YouTube, uh, which will help you to know how we can use these uh, individual writing tools. Like the, although these are not writing tools, these are actually Google Scholar. Like this is used to search article. This is a search engine. So uh, the last thing is uh, listen, write, and read every day. So uh, first, it is important to listen. Then it is important to write and read every day. So there is no need to wait to get your complete data results to start your writing. So uh, in dissertation, write side by side whatever you do in your experiment. So you don't need to wait until your whole data come. So you can just start writing side by side. Why? Uh, because nothing is final and because whatever you will write in, on the next day when you will start reading that version, you will find many mistakes. So if you are able to find your mistakes and correct them, so it means you are improving your skills. So uh, it is also important uh, to recommend you one important thing that never read non SCI articles, only read, read quality article because if you will read non SCI article, so you, you cannot uh, establish your good skills because uh, non SCI articles already have many mistakes. So if you are reading any article which already have mistake, so it is not, uh, it will not improve your skills. So only read the quality articles uh, from, you can download them from the good journals. So if you don't know what are the good journals, there are several videos on my list. You can uh, try to watch them that what are, how, how we can uh, find good quality journals. And, uh, Third important thing, a picture or a figure is better than thousand words. So you can also try to improve your skills uh, to make different figures or pictures related to your manuscript. Because uh, the, we know that uh, usually you have to explain the figures in your results. So uh, you can also develop your skills related to like uh, PowerPoint presentations for Adobe Photoshop's or Adobe Illustrator. So uh, these uh, software will help you to design good quality figures. So it will help you to explain your results and increase your scientific writing skills. So hope so uh, you like the video. Uh, and if you have any question related to this video, please tell me in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.